Hey guys, Alex Kesselmug here, bringing you guys a quick little tutorial on how to make a working holographic site. I've made one of these before, it was a non-functioning one. If you want to check that one out, if you do not have this light brick here, this is from the old XO4 sets. So if you just want to make a, a non-working one, I'll put a link here to a tutorial for my other one. But this one uses the old XO4 light brick. If you do not have, if you do have this, your pro your batteries probably ran out. So, if you don't know how to change it, I did make a tutorial on how to change it. I'll put another link over here, probably here, on how to change that out. Um, so I'm gonna be pretty lazy with this one. I'm not gonna. It's not gonna be a step by step. It's just gonna be. I'm gonna show you each part, kind of how, kind of you kind of just gonna have to look at it, see how I did it, which shouldn't be too hard. Um, yeah, alright, let's get right into it. So this piece here is just, it's two 4x6s with a 2x4x4 four four with some 1x1 one one bricks and a 1x4 plate. And just some plates here on the bottom. You can kind of just see how I did that. This can be, really there's, there's a lot of wiggle room with this part. This is just how, it, this is the part that's connecting to your gun. So you don't have to do this part here. It's You can do like a rail or any kind of rail system you want. Or you can just leave it completely flat. That's completely up to you. That's just how it got. Uh, that's just how it attached to my last gun. Uh, the next piece here is just a four by ten. I used the four by six and four by four. You know, whatever you have. And then it's just a two by two, and then a four by eight, and then it's just some of these bracket pieces with just some. Um, man, I'm saying I'm a lot. I'm driving myself crazy. It's, uh, one by six. I used to one by threes just you know use use whatever you have and then just some detail pieces you can put whatever you want there and then these are just uh two one by twos with some one by ones and a cheese slopes up there those cheese slopes are important you'll see why later and then this is just a uh, hinge piece and a two by two and this is just <laughs> this is actually the inside of a, a candy wrapper uh for any of you guys that know what uh, airheads are that's the inside of an airhead wrapper i love airheads um, yeah, so then I just cut out the square, just pop it over, trace it out, cut it, and then I just used stick glue, so it'll come off easy. So if you want to change that out, so that's all that is. This thing here is just the the top, and this just uses some arch bricks. Uh, it's only five cents long, and you see some tile pieces and just some pieces in the middle there. This part here is important, the one by four. Uh, you'll see why later. This piece here is the front section. This is just a 1x5 with a 1x4 tile. Make sure it's a tile. And a 1x2 plate. And it's just the same thing on the other side. And here is just a bracket piece. Um, these, this can be the, um, what, what you gonna call it? It's just a regular bracket with just the one on the top because it's just um you're putting a two by four there and you're just putting whatever details you want there but this this one works a little bit better because you got more stud connection but the other one works just fine let's put those back on and these next pieces are the side panels so you want to make sure it's laid out just the same here you don't want it any taller or any shorter or it's not going to work properly these side pieces, these are just jumper, or sorry, not jumpers, headlight bricks. And you can put whatever you want on the sides here. I just decided to put a, just a plate and a stud. Whatever, whatever you want. Be creative. And this back section is just a 1x4 brick with the studs on the side. You, again, you can put a, oh, of course I dropped it. You can just put whatever details you want on the side here. And it's just a one by one stud with a one by four plate and a one by two plate. And again, you're just gonna make the mirror image pop pop that on the other side. This piece, a few of you might not have, is this piece right here. You can. I'm not other, sure what other pieces you can put here that would look good. I just happen to have this piece, and I only have one of this piece, and it just it just happened to fit there really well. Um, I'm not sure. You could use the one with the little plate indents there, I guess. 
but you'd have to kind of change this area a little bit. So again, whatever pieces you have for you, you kind of just have to adjust it, fix it a little bit. Next piece is one of these minifigure stands. Figure, did I say figure? Figures, minifigure stand. And you're just putting a little stud there. Next piece is a 2x4 tile, or you could use two 1x4 tiles, that works too. And then you're using a 1x4x3 windscreen. This can be tinted, you know, whatever you want. Uh, clear works best though. Uh, the less scratch is the better. And this one is, this is the light brick, and this is just a jumper plate with hook. Um, this entire thing uses all original Lego parts other than the mirror piece and this tube. This tube it does come with these light bricks with the old XL4 sets, but you do have to cut it down. So I would put it all together first before you cut it. So make sure you cut, when you do cut it, cut extra because you can always cut more off, right? Uh, if you cut too much off, then you're, you just kind of just waste it. Now you have to cut more off of your, like it comes in like the long tube thing. Alright, so putting it all together is pretty simple. You're just grabbing these two pieces and you're pushing them together here. Make sure it's all connected properly. Now you're gonna grab I'll do the back section. This goes right here. Just like that. Now put the light brick in. Just like that. So there should be one space there. Um, don't put a 1x2 in, you, you can, but I would recommend not to, I'll show you why later. So just make sure the jumper plate's in as well, make sure that tube's stuck in the clip, and this is pushed all the way in. Next you're going to grab this piece right here, and that all snaps down, just like that. Now you're going to grab the tile there, or your two 1x4s, whatever, and this piece here actually slides in like this actually pops into place just like that so you can see how like the little corners are stuck in those little tiny grooves under the tiles so that's why that works there um, next you can you can put the side panels on I should have like a counter on the screen saying how many times I said um. That is brutal. Sorry about that. Alright, next we're gonna put the this piece here. And this piece goes here. So you wanna make sure the part with the 1x4 is facing this side. You wanna make sure it's in front of that piece right there. So it should lock into place there. So it shouldn't be stuck under, but it should just be prevented from pushing that way. So it should wiggle a little bit, but that's okay. That's okay. So really the only thing left is you can push this down and kind of just adjust this part right there. So you can have it centered wherever you want. So you push it forward, it goes up, you pull it back, it goes down. Right, so you can just put it wherever you want. See the middle is the best. So this is where kind of you want a kind of an unscratched piece of uh, glass there is the more scratches there are it's going to reflect more of the red everywhere it's showing up a lot on camera but in person you can't really can't really see much but if you, there's a bunch of scratches on it you'll you'll see it so nice thing about this one you can't see it through the other side that's the benefit of that angled um, screen piece and it shows up very nicely on the side even in this I have a lot of light here I have my lamp and I have my very bright ceiling light shining down right on this. You can still see it just fine. Uh, same thing in the night, it's not overpowered. Uh, it's very, very clean, looks very good, and it follows very nicely. So I, I like it. I like how it turned out. The only thing I don't really like is how this sticks up a little bit, but I've, I'm pretty sure you could get it lower. I just have literally put zero effort into getting that lower. I just, it's good enough for me. And I like it. It looks good on looks good on just about any gun, and it's fun to mount on a gun and just run around with. And it's fun because you can actually aim and stuff. So uh, I guess that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. Visit my channel. Check out some cool guns, and see you in my next video.